I was the editor of the Spotlight team at the Globe, uh, which did the investigation. It was a bit of a downer, his death, a bit of a downer for uh, pretty much all of us. Uh, for myself, uh, as the journalist who led the team, uh, whose work resulted in uh, Cardinal Law being banished to Rome, uh, the feelings were mixed. It was a reminder of, obviously, of the work we did, uh, which is easily far and away the most important journalism that we've ever done. I think of uh, his death and his funeral a little bit in the abstract. And the reason is, uh, Law was the product of a cookie cutter that produced many, many cardinals of his generation. And really, almost all of them did the same thing in their archdioceses. In the 400-year history of Boston, there is no more tragic figure than Bernard Law, a man who rose so high in the church but made such fatal misjudgment uh, on the issue of greatest importance to any church, and that is the welfare of the children. You know, the similarity between the Catholic Church and the Me Too movement is pretty clear. Abuse of power by those in power against people who were mostly powerless to fight back. The other commonality is, regrettably, in the case of the Catholic Church, many people who could have spoken up, chose not to, out of deference or fear of those in power. The same phenomenon holds true now with what we're seeing with the Me Too movement. Take Harvey Weinstein as an example. He had, it seemed, a battalion of enablers. 